Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for trading session Tuesday, uh, the 21st of November 2017. Just giving you a rundown of yesterday's trading and going into this morning's trading and uh, giving you a summation. Uh, Asian markets overnight certainly is very, very buoyant. You have the uh, Shanghai, Hang Seng, Nikkei all uh, surging higher, uh, potential 10 month highs there, especially with regards to the uh, the actual um, uh, Hang Seng, very, very impressive, okay. Hang Seng certainly for pushing higher overnight. Uh, in terms of the Nikkei as well, certainly up 0.7%. Hang Seng up a whopping 2 percentage points. That's, uh, that's the Hang Seng, so very, very impressive. They're up 505.57 points, so uh, very, very impressive to say the least, okay. So Asian markets certainly surging higher. Okay, in terms of European markets, uh, again, we've had a setback with regards to the German coalition breaking down. Okay, potential re-elections now as well, so a lot of uncertainty, um, certainly mired in a lot of uncertainty, so uh, I'll see uh, a European uh, potential uh, situation for you at present, Euro certainly will come under pressure as well, and we'll see how the market unfolds there. In terms of economic data for the rest of the day, let's quickly run through this, we've had uh, Swiss exports this morning, certainly coming on the weaker side, trade balance on the weaker side as well. Uh, in terms of uh, this week, let's just quickly go through yesterday. Uh, Mr. Draghi, nothing really major. Mr. Constacio as well, nothing really major there. Market moving as such. If, if anything, it's the euro that really is under pressure due to uncertainty politically. Okay, in terms of uh, the markets from a technical picture now, let's run through the markets for you. Let's start off with the German DAX. Certainly a bottoming tail, certainly holding at 12.850. We had a bullish engulfing candle yesterday, so we certainly shook off the uncertainty. For now, we're certainly capped at this key resistance at 13.090. Uh, again, do we play out the inverted head and shoulders formation? Again, good question. So you've got your left shoulder here, you've got your head, and then obviously your right shoulder and looking to potentially rip higher. So again, just be open-minded. Uh, don't, don't get obsessed with the news. I'll get in the, in the, in the, obviously, in the fact, given the fact that uh, you have the uh, political uncertainty in Germany, again, yes, fundamentally, bias would be bearish and one would not support the inverted head and shoulders formation. Okay, but again, there may well be a catalyst that will trigger the actual uh, uncertainty to, to ease, which in turn can trigger a very powerful short squeeze as well. So certainly don't be uh, marrying any one single, obviously, scenario. Just be open-minded as a trader, especially a day trader anyway. You have to be very, very flexible. You have to shift your uh, your your bias on a dime, okay? So it's irrelevant uh, what the argument is. It could certainly be negated, and therefore the markets could shift, and you could certainly miss out on that potential move. So that's where we are at present, okay? So again, if you do flush, we are obviously holding gap fill at the moment. If you do flush, then you are looking to potentially find support at 13,000 and then below at 12,950 and 12,850, okay, in terms of German DAX. Let's move on to the French CAC now. Let's see exactly where this stands. Again, this is holding gap fill this morning. As you can see here, resistance at 5,350 uh, and 5,340. Obviously, you've got double top resistance here at 5,350. On a 10-minute chart, 60-minute chart, certainly more or less the same picture. Uh, again, there is a potential or possibility on inverted head and shoulders, so just be open-minded to that. So your left shoulder here, your head obviously has been put in, left shoulder, uh, right shoulder, sorry, and then you're looking to rip higher. So again, be open-minded there. Daily chart at the moment, you've held gap fill, obviously bottoming tails held. You had a bullish engulfing candle yesterday, even though you had political uncertainty in Germany. Let's see how the market unfolds today. Okay, so uh, again, moving on, especially given the fact that Asian markets are certainly pushing higher. Okay, FTSE 100, uh, again, this is an index that I'm starting to uh, turn bullish on, okay? So looking to turn bullish on, looking to potentially look for a thrust higher, especially with Asian markets higher overnight as well. Certainly will help the FTSE daily chart holding that bottoming tail, although one must be aware that there is a potential for a uh, bear flag scenario back down to uh, 7300. So just be open-minded, okay? 60-minute chart, again, you're building a base, provided we keep, uh, keep continuing to build a base and fill... Uh, stop if you, as long as we don't go below 7360 bulls are in total control here from my perspective you've broken out the bearish channel looking to short squeeze higher okay 10 minute chart on the FTSE 100 yes you are trading within an inside bar and it's not exactly the best potential pattern you want to be taking on a 10 minute chart but nevertheless it's a status quo uh, you've not made no lower lows okay so again you're seeing resistance at 7395 and then obviously 74405 Again, this would be a buyer dip scenario for me on the FTSE, and I'll certainly be looking to uh, be bullish with stop loss below 7,360, okay, in terms of the FTSE 100. Okay, so that's a scenario with regards to European equities, and uh, certainly it's a good uh, morning wrap-up for you. Uh, again, German political uncertainty certainly will dominate, okay. Uh, we do have uh, a potential uh, budget to think of, and also with regards to Brexit talks ongoing as well. 
So plenty of volatility, pl plenty of uncertainty, plenty of wild cards. You could certainly get a bearish engulfing candle within a matter of minutes and then and we could break, break 7360 very, very quickly. So, or alternatively, we could trigger a very powerful short squeeze of 7440. That's the market, folks. That's the market. Okay, uh, we just have to react. That's what we are. We're reactors. Uh, that's basically what we do as traders. We just react. On that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Certainly take advantage of the bonus and be sure to download the latest trade signal app. Goodbye now.